Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I create these pearl donut earrings using some Super Duos, Levinos, and Pearls. If you want to see how it's done or how it can be modified, make sure to watch to the end of the video where I give you some ideas to change up your materials. If you need the materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description. We'll list them out there for you. So you can either go neutral or you can do a nice spring pop of color and get ready to create these fun earrings. So to create our pearl donut earrings, we're going to be using some Super Duo beads, 11 O's, and some 4 millimeter glass pearls. We are going to begin by using Hubble Stitch. So if you've never used Hubble Stitch before, we are going to create a series of 10 Hubble Stitch units. We're going to connect them together, and we're going to finish them off, and I'll show you along the way where you can stop or you can continue creating. So don't be afraid to stay tuned for the whole video or stop during portions of it, watch to the end and decide which version you like better. So we are going to begin with a size 11 beading needle and I have some green size six dragon thread. The first thing I'm going to do is put a stop bead on my project. And I have some silver super duos hanging out here. I'm just gonna grab one of those actually to work as my stop bead. Go ahead and put that on your thread and needle and about four feet will get you both earrings completed. You're gonna sew through that once and twice. And now your thread will stop. And that'll stop your beads from falling off your line. We're going to begin our Super Duo Hubble stitch using three of our 11 OC beads. letting them fall down next to our stop bead and taking our needle and thread going back up through bead number one, coming out between bead number one and bead number two. Once you're exiting between bead one and bead two, your three beads kind of form a little bit of a triangle. We're gonna add bead number four, which is our super duo bead, and we're gonna sew back down through bead number two. And that Super Duo bead is just gonna hang out right there on the top of our Hubble unit. From here, continue on. We're gonna do this 10 times. So here's time number two, three of our 11 OC beads on. You let that drop down next to the last unit that you've completed. So back through bead number one of this grouping of beads toward bead number two. That folds that over into that little triangle. Push that down next to your last Hubble stitch unit. Grab a Super Duo and sew down through bead number two. So the Super Duo is bead number four and just kind of hangs out and pops in the middle. You notice that the Hubble units are not sitting correctly. Naturally, they're just going to want to kind of turn all around. We'll solve that issue as we create and go. That's two units. Go ahead and add an additional eight units and then we'll add them together and form our round donut. Once you have 10 units completed, what you're going to want to do is connect unit 10 to unit number one. So how are we going to do that? Bringing the camera in just a little bit closer, let's take a closer look. Number 10 unit right now, you are exiting through bead number two. We're going to go over to the first unit here next to our stop bead, and we're gonna go up bead number one. So coming out bead number two here on unit 10, take your needle and thread over to the first unit and you're gonna sew up through bead number one toward that super duo. It's gonna round it out and make it look kind of like a jumbled mess. From here, keep an eye on which unit you're going through. Skip over the super duo sew through bead number two, act like you're creating your original Hubble stitch again, sewing through bead number two here. After sewing through bead number two, sew down through bead number three. Bead number three is gonna be the bead that sits opposite your Super Duo bead. Make sure that stop bead is out of the way a little bit and pull tight so that way unit number one in unit number 10, sit right next to one another. From here, we are currently exiting through the bottom of unit number one, going toward unit number 10. 
see how the super duos are starting to all kind of force their way to the outside, we're going to make sure that that happens intentionally. I want you, while exiting bead number three of unit one, pick up another 11 0 and sew through bead number three, that bottom bead there, of unit 10. Exiting from there, you're going to add a bead, sew through the bottom bead of unit number nine. This is what gives us that donut shape. Continuing on then, you're going to add a bead, sew through the next bottom bead of the next Hubble unit. So go ahead and just take your time adding 10 11 OC beads between each one of your bottom beads. When you finish with it, that's what gives you that nice inner circle where it looks like there's no breaks between those 20 beads that sit in the middle. As you add in the last bead here, go ahead and take your thread and needle through a couple beads past the bead you're adding. That way you're going further down the line and you can see right away then all of those 10 super duos pop to the outer edge and you're left with a nice line of seed beads on the interior. I'm gonna continue to take my needle and thread through that interior line till I get about halfway and then we're gonna come up and step up so we can add additional layers onto our piece. So stepping up here then, going through, we're gonna get ready to go up and add beads between our Super Duo beads, adding another level on. So progressing up here, we're coming out of one of our bead number threes of one of our Hubble Stitch units. Go ahead and go back up through bead number one of that same Hubble stitch unit that you're currently in. I want you to then also go through the bottom hole of this super duo right after bead number one. And then you're going to reverse your thread going through the top hole of that same super duo bead. You'll see a tiny bit of the green thread along the side of the super duo, but it surprisingly blends into the pink really, really well. If you want to, you can also use white thread for this. I'm using the green because it's a little bit easier to see for you guys. From here, between each one of our super duos, we are going to add a pattern of beads. It is gonna be one super duo, one 11 one super duo. Going from the top of the whole of this super duo, we'll call it number one, we're gonna sew into super duo number two. Coming around then, we're going to do the same thing again. Super duo, 11, super duo, into the top hole of the next original super duo. Continuing that around the whole outer edge, that's gonna get us our nice base line that will go in and we'll decorate with some more seed beads and then we'll add the pearls after the fact of doing that. So don't add your, don't think, you're definitely going to go from one step to the other. Go ahead and complete this step, and then we'll get ready and add in some more beads. Once you're finishing, you're going to go through the first super duo that you added as you add your last grouping. Give that a nice tight pull, and then we're gonna step up again. Remember how the last row we stepped up from that first hole of the super duo to the second? Time to do it again. Go from the first hole, to the second hole of that super duo that your thread was coming out of. Here what we're gonna do is right above this super duo, we're gonna add one 11 OC bead and connect to the super duo that's next in line. When we're above the seed bead, you're gonna go ahead and add three 11 OC beads. Then sew through again the next super duo in line. Continuing on, one, gets added above the super duo, three get added above the seed bead. This is how you're gonna connect that whole outer row of your super duo beads. As you're adding in your last three seed beads here, you'll notice I took my thread and needle the whole way, so I'm coming out through that super duo bead. We're gonna bring the exterior super duo beads a little bit closer. 
which is going to create that curvature and how that sits kind of like a donut. If you don't want to have that curvature, you're gonna to wanna to skip this step and it'll keep it nice and flat. So to get the curvature, you're coming out of the super duo where you have the next step is three seed beads in line. From here, we're gonna add one 11 -0, and you're gonna skip past those three seed beads and sew through the next super duo, 11, super duo, and then bring your needle out. Give a little tight pull and you can see that tighten up already. Coming out then, once again, right there, add another 11 0, sew through, super duo, 11, super duo. Come on out and add another, another 11 0 seed bead. You're gonna notice that curve starting to occur, so go ahead and embrace it. If you happen to do like I did here and sew through a C bead, just sew back out through it. Add another 11 and continue to sew through. You're gonna do this around the whole outer edge, so you're adding 10 C beads in, and it's just gonna sit basically right on top of that C bead that's already there. As you're doing it once again, push those super duos to the top and embrace that tiny little curvature. My last C bead is getting added in now. And at the same time, since I'm on this outer edge, I'm gonna come over to my next grouping here of three C beads, sewing across, adding in that C bead, and I'm gonna add my wire guard. So I'm gonna add my wire protector or wire guard to sit at the top. I'm gonna sew through the first two C beads out of that grouping of three there. You can see how pretty this looks even without the pearls there. So fun and pretty. Add your wire guard or wire protector. Go up through one side of the wire guard. Go down the opposite side of the wire guard. And go into the opposite side of the 11 C bead that your thread is currently coming out of. That wire guard then should sit directly on top of there with the 11 0 between it. We're gonna reinforce that going up through the side again, down through the other side, making sure your thread sits in that U channel of the wire guard. And now we're gonna downgrade into our next super duo. And as you come out through your next super duo bead, we're gonna get our thread and needle to come down towards the bottom. Going through that super duo, we're going to reverse the thread, going through the super duo and through your next super duo and allowing your thread to exit. So you can see, you can be done at this point if you want to tie your thread off, take off that stop bead. It's really pretty or advance and add your pearls to your pearl donut earring. So now's our chance to add our pearls. If you wanna add something else, I'd love to see. You could really have fun adding bugles because we're gonna get like a V pattern. You could even add some drop duos or even some crystals to really make it shine. Make sure to post your pictures in our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making with the different things that you, excuse me, added on your seed bead area here. So what I'm going to be doing is picking up a pearl coming out of the top of that super duo bead adding the pearl to my needle, and then I'm gonna to go to the opposite corner. So I'm gonna go down from the top of this super duo, we're on our interior original row of 10, and I'm gonna to go to the bottom of the next super duo bead. And the pearl's just gonna kind of sit there on the diagonal. Grabbing my next pearl, my thread's currently coming out of the bottom of that super duo bead. I'm gonna go into the top of the next super duo bead and out. Again, I'm at the top here. Grab a pearl. Go into the bottom of the next one. I've got three in here and I'm just gonna continue to alternate through the top, bottom, top, bottom of the super duos as I add the pearls on in this interior row.
After adding in your last pearl, the only thing to do is to get to the center to be able to try off your thread. So I'm coming out the super duo that I ended on. I'm gonna go down through the first pearl that I had added, as well as through the first hole of that super duo bead there, and then out. Looking then at the back of your project, you can see exactly where your thread started. So what I'm gonna do is take my needle and thread from this super duo, and I'm gonna go down into the 11 that sits below as part of the Hubble unit that that original super duo was sitting on. I'm also then going to go through the center beads here, flipping the project over to the back. You can see that nice little curve of that donut. We're gonna sew around the whole way of the design till we get back next to our starter thread. So you're sewing through all of the center core beads or those 20 in the middle. And then when we get those back next to one another, all we're gonna do is simply tie them off. So I'm just sewing back through my original row here till I get back to that starter thread. One more to go. And I tend to do this often from the back because that way you do not see any thread showing. So right where I think I need to bring it out, let's bring this out and make sure I'm good. I just sew through those two beads, bring my thread out. Look at where my starter thread is. One more bead to go, or two more beads to go rather. And then bring your thread ends together and simply tie them off and burn them down. When you tie them off, I usually do a nice square knot right over left, left over right, and then simply pick up your thread burner, burn that little thread edge down, it disappears in the back, and then we add our ear wire. To add our ear wire to it, depending on what kind you want, you're always going to turn the loop that you're working with to the side here, add on that wire guard or the wire protector, close it up, and that finishes your beautiful pearl donut earrings. These can be done larger with more Hubble units right in the beginning. They could be very monochromatic with one color. And like I said, I really wanna see how people change up what they include in the middle. If you change up the pearls, make sure to post that and let us know. Thanks so much for joining me in the creation of these fun pearl donut earrings. Hopefully they made you hungry as well as feeling a little bit creative. I can't wait to see how everybody changes it up in our awesome community for beaters for beading and jewelry making in Facebook. Go ahead and post there your pictures of your changed up designs. As always, if you need any materials, look below the video in the description and we'll put links there that you can get the exact materials that were used online. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beats.